Hey everyone, welcome to this video. And today we're gonna take a look at Cambridge 17 reading passage to test one. So uh, let's get started. The first thing that I always do, uh, like I said in the previous video, is read the title. So uh, when I read the title, I always try to make a connection between the title, uh, like between what I already know about the topic and what I'm about to read like stadiums, past, present, and future. So I'm guessing if there is no any subtitle, just based solely on the title, I just try to make a, a prediction of what the passage is going to be about. So in my opinion, it's going to be about, uh, obviously, stadiums, uh, and the stadiums in the, in the past, in the present, and in the future. So basically, this, this kind of helps me, uh, you know, get a better idea of what this passage is going to be about which is actually a good thing uh, so that you can in get engaged uh, in the passage and the next thing is I try to um, like survey the questions well, let me get my uh, all right so the first question set is um, what we can call what we can refer to as uh, matching information so basically, what you need to do is, using these statements, you need to identify uh, which paragraph they, they they come from. Like, You may use any letter more than once. And we also need to, uh, you know, take a look at what, like, the uh, instructions, right? They're really important. This means that we can use any letter more than once. All right, so... A mention of negative attitudes towards stadium building projects. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, let me just one second. Okay. So, all right, let's just keep going. So yeah, um, like I said, it's important to. Uh, it's important to highlight some of the important stuff. Okay, so I mentioned negative attitudes. Negative attitudes towards stadium building projects. Okay, so yeah, like the passage that this uh, statement comes from, I mean the paragraph that this uh, statement comes from has to be uh, mentioning something negative. And a mention, so it usually comes in just one sentence. Figure, figures demonstrating the environmental benefits of a certain stadium. Okay, so figures, right? And they should be demonstrating environmental benefits of a certain stadium. Examples, and pay attention, it's in plural. That means this whole paragraph has to uh, contain uh, several examples of the wide range of facilities available at some new stadiums. Okay, facilities. Reference to the disadvantages and reference is a tricky one because it's usually not obvious. So you, you need to dig a little deeper in order to find the relevant part. Reference to the disadvantages of the stadiums built during a certain era. All right, so stadiums built during a certain era. All right, now next we have summary completion. Uh, it, we need to complete it using words. And there are some types of some types of uh, summary completion questions where you just need to use the words from the box. But this one is easier actually. And also pay attention to the word limit, one word only, which means that if we write like if we find an answer uh, with two words, and that means that's that's like that automatically checks out. That's not the answer at all. That's totally out the window. Now, uh, we keep going and we read the title because it's also important, uh, Roman Amphitheaters. Okay, so again, why is this title important? Because based on that, you can identify the uh, location of this whole thing. All right, so uh, Roman Amphitheaters. Let's see. The Roman, the Roman stadiums of Europe have proved very versatile. When something is versatile, it means like they're flexible. The amphitheater of... Um, Arles, for example, was converted first into. So Arles, I'm guessing this is a strong keyword because it kind of helps us find the location really quickly. Was converted first into a. Uh, okay, so it was first con. Well, like uh, converted into. Uh, let me 
this. Uh, okay, so convert it into something, right? And, and I'm guessing it's a noun. It's probably building, right? Because this is a uh, amphitheater. Maybe it's just, it, it was first converted into a stadium or something like that. Stadium, but maybe it's actually not a stadium because maybe they will talk about that later. <clears throat> Anyways, um, also pay attention to this summary. Like summaries are actually like a short version of a particular part of the passage or the whole passage. But I'm guessing this is only one part of the passage, so it's not going to be that difficult. And also one thing that I noticed is the the writing style. I mean, I really like reading passages in that they kind of help you with writing uh, essays as well. <clears throat> like, as you can see, this is a very general topic sentence where uh, the writer is saying that the, the Roman stadiums of Europe have proved very versatile. Like, they are versatile. That's like uh, a very, very general sentence, which we should be learning how to write in, in writing, right? And then the, the writer goes on to talk, like give some examples, like it can be converted into something and then something else, right? So that's what I love about reading passages. Then into a residential area and finally into an area, uh, arena where spectators uh, could watch something, okay? So it was then turned into an arena where spectators could watch something. Maybe like football, right? Or, or something like that, maybe like play, right? So, uh, just gonna write like down again. Meanwhile, uh, the arena in Verona, uh, one of the oldest Roman amph amphitheaters, is famous today as a venue where. Okay, so, all right, so arena in the arena in Verona is famous today as a venue where something is performed again, and now. Uh, right, so it's. Uh, arena where something is performed and also pay attention it's a singular noun because there is is the side of uh, lucas amphitheater has all has also been used for many purposes over the centuries including the storage of okay uh it was like used for many purposes right the storage of something again now i don't see any point in writing that down but i'll, I'll write it just for the sake of it yeah, it's a noun. So it, it is now a market square. We're still talking about Lucas Amphitheater. Uh, it is now a market square with something and homes incorporated into the remains of Amphitheater. Okay, so they're actually incorporated, like they're, you know, alongside those uh, remains, right? Like they're one part of them incorporated. That's what it means. So we need a noun again. In, in this case, it's probably going to be plural because like something and home, so there's got to be some consistency. Can we keep going? We have some, we have the last set of questions, which I think are a little tough, right? So basically, these are multiple choice questions, but are like multiple choice questions, you know, you know, it's some different types of multiple choice questions. Anyways, but the, the, but the technique is the same. I mean, the, the, the technique that I use. To deal with multiple choice questions and these questions is pretty much the same. When comparing 20th 20, 20, 20 century stadiums to ancient amphitheaters in section D, and I'm glad that it's already given, right, the location, so you don't have to like really uh, wander around. Which two negative features does the writer mention? Okay, so basically there's going to be a comparison between 20th century buildings as uh, stadiums to ancient amphitheaters in section D, and we need to find two negative features uh, of 20th century, if I'm not mistaken. They're less imaginatively designed, but we don't have to really worry about these for now, just for now, until we, we find the, the relevant part. Uh, because if we just still do it like that, we'll probably get uh, confused, and we'll probably end up not finding any of them. So which two advantages of modern stadium design does the writer mention? Okay, advantages now, right? Of the modern design, does the writer okay? So it's probably like after section D, right? After 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 we find the answers to twenty three to twenty four. Okay, so let's get back to our passage now. All right, so what we need to do now is just uh, since this is passage two, right? Unlike passage one, 
I might have to read the whole thing. I mean, I do that. Others may not like doing it, uh, but I, I just do it because for one thing, we have matching information questions, which are actually the, you know, the most difficult question types of all. And I may have to read the whole thing to be able to find that. And that's why I'm going to be having, I'm, you know, I'm going to have to read the whole thing. Stadiums are among the oldest forms of urban architecture. Just, I guess I need to zoom in a little. Let me just zoom out one. Okay. So stadiums are among the oldest forms of urban architecture. Vast stadiums where the public, uh, where the public could watch sporting events were at the center of Western city life as far back as the ancient Greek and Roman empires. Well before the construction of the great medieval cathedrals and the grand 19th and 20th century railway stations, which dominated urban skylines in later area, uh, eras. Okay, so basically the first, uh, I guess like the paragraph talks about uh, how stadiums were important right in the past. Uh, so yeah, like, you know, they were the center of Western city life, right? Okay. So we, we still keep going until we finish this uh, section A and then like look through all the question types in case we have any answers. Today, however, stadiums are regarded with growing skepticism, right? So like we don't, nobody like really likes them. I mean, it's not like that, but like there's skepticism among that. That means like doubt, a lot of doubt. Construction costs can soar about 1 point billion and stadiums finish for major events such as the Olympic Games or the FIFA. I, hope that's how it's pronounced world cup have notably fallen into disuse and despair so basically the, these are some negative sen sentences about the construction about how we are wasting our money uh by building some stadiums but this is but this need not be the case history shows that stadiums can drive ur urban development and adapt to the culture of every age okay even today architects and planners are finding new ways to adapt the uh, monofunctional uh sports arenas which became em emblematic of modern modernization during the 20th century okay so basically they're saying that st stadiums can be versatile right they, they can be uh flexible <clears throat> uh they can tailor uh stadiums to the needs of the audience and everything so that's basically what this is about um i guess now we can look through the questions <clears throat> a mention of negative attitudes towards stadium building projects Yes, yes, right? Like this, wow, that's kind of funny how we all found the answer just right away. I mean, I guess it's, it was mentioned right here. Co construction costs can soar above, that means like they're high above uh, one, one billion doll, uh, pounds, I guess, not, not even dollars, which is actually more than dollars. So yeah, negative attitudes, right? Uh, like growing skepticism. So I'm guessing like this is, this is, it, right but i'm not like 100 percent sure just let's let's think that this is it because that looks like it because as you can see all the um keywords match like stadium building projects like construction right negative attitudes is the same thing as like can soar like uh like falling into disuse and despair right so these are, like when, when something is falling into disuse that means like people are using it in the wrong way and disrepair actually repairing incorrectly so these are some negative uh, attitudes towards stadium building projects. So basically that's it, A. And as you can see, we can use A more than once or B, C, whatever the letter that that there is. Figures demonstrating the environmental benefits of a certain stadium, no. So you see, basically what I do is just go through each question and just question myself if that's it, right? Is it, like, is figures demonstrating the environmental uh, benefits of a certain stadium right here? No, 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 that doesn't sound right because I didn't read anything about that. So examples of the wide range of facilities available at some new stadiums. Um, I guess no, right? Well, of course, there was something positive about stadiums today, but uh, we didn't actually mention, we didn't read anything about facilities, right? And, and a wide range of facilities, in fact. Reference to disadvantage of stadium, stadiums, uh, stadiums, stadium, okay. That started sounding a little uh, weird because when you actually like pr pronounce the same word over and over again, it's gonna sound a little uh, natural. Anyways, built during a certain era. So, did we read anything about that? 
reference to the disadvantage of the stadiums built during a certain uh, era. Okay, I guess. Um, let's see. Maybe. Uh, maybe this is the same fourteen, right? But. Like this is not like a certain era though. Like of course this is today. Uh can drive even the demo for explains for finding new ways to adapt to a monofunctional sport sports arenas, which became emblematic of modern modernization during the twentieth century. Let's just, you know let's not like choose anything, but maybe if we don't don't find anything, maybe this is the part, right? And actually one uh part can be uh, evidence for two different questions actually and we also look at like we didn't read anything about amphitheater so that's actually one good thing that uh, about titles right when you read the title you'll be sure that there was nothing going on about amphitheater so we just don't even bother looking at these questions because they basically haven't been mentioned and we haven't even got to section D so again we can save the energy of having to read those questions over and over again. Anyways, now let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> oh, now we're talking about the amphitheater. Um, the amphitheater of Arles in southwest, in southwest France, with a capacity of 25,000 spectators, is perhaps the best example of just how versatile stadiums can be. Basically, we're just already like, uh, like over here, right? Built by the Romans in uh, 19 AD, it became a fort fortress with four uh, towers after the 5th century, right? So we're talking about Arles. And was then transformed into a village containing more than 200 houses. With the growing interest in conversation during the, uh, in conservation during the 19th century, it was converted back into an arena for the staging of bullfights, thereby returning the structure to its original use as a venue for public spect 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 spectacles okay i guess that, that's how it's pronounced anyways so how like what was it converted to in at first uh, all right so versatile right uh built by the romans in uh, 19 ad it became a uh, fortress with four towers after the first fifth century okay so it was a fortress thing, right? because that's an, that's a noun it sounds like a place, but I know don't, but I don't know what what this word means actually. The village containing more than two hundred uh, houses, so then into residential area, probably a village, right? Uh, because like residential area, like two hundred houses, that's the same thing as residential area. Then into an uh, arena where spectate spectators could watch. Okay, so and then was. Uh, with growing interest in conservation during the 19th century, was converted back into an arena for the staging of bullfights, right, thereby returning the structure of its original use for public spe spectacles. Um, okay, so then where so could where spectators could watch what bullfights, right? They could watch bullfights. It's probably not like um, thereby returning to the structure. To its to, to uh, returning the structure, its original use as a venue for public spectac spectacles. Um, could watch bullfights. Also, Roman amphitheater is famous today as a venue. Okay, so this is an arena, right? Uh, could watch bullfights. I guess that's it, right? Bullfights, not spectacles, I guess. So we keep going. Another example is the imposing arena of Verona in, in uh, northern Italy, Italy, with space for 3,000 spectators, which was built 60 years before the Arles Amphitheater and four, 40 years before Rome's famous Colosseum. Colosseum, uh, I, I don't know. It has endured the centuries and is currently considered one of the world's prime sites for opera thanks to its out outstanding acoustics. Okay, so let's see. One of the old Roman amphitheater is famous today as a venue where what opera, right? Uh, opera is performed, as you can see, right? Sites for opera, so it's used to so that you know opera can be performed. The site, I guess that's it. Okay. Um, 
let's keep going. The, the site of Lucas Amphitheater has also been used for many purposes over the centuries, including the storage of, okay, the, the storage of. The area in the center of the Italian town of Lucca, known as the Pizzao del Amphitheater, <laughs> is yet another impressive example of an amphitheater becoming absorbed into the fabric of the city. The, si the site evolved in a similar way to Arles and was progressively filled with buildings from the Middle Ages until the uh, 19th century. Um, okay, so... All right, so the the area in, in the center of the Italian town of okay, I kind of got lost. The site involved in a similar way to uh, Arles and was progressively filled with buildings from the Middle Ages uh, until the 19th century. Variously used as house, uh, as houses, a salt de depot, and a prison. So, like a salt depot, I guess of, of salt, right? Because depot seems like storage. And if we like for many purposes, that means like it was used as a as houses at first, right? And then like a prison, right? Uh, it, like these are some examples, like many purposes over the centuries, including the storage of salt and depot, right? I don't know the word depot, but I'm guessing like salt can be stored, right? And these are the purposes of its usage. This is the only uh, thing that can be stored: storage of salt. Okay. It is now a market square with what? And homes incorporated into the remains of. But rather than reverting to an area, it became a market square. You see now, like, uh, you, you can see the order designed to buy romanticist architect uh, Lorenzo Natalini. Today, the ruins of the amphitheater remain embedded. Embedded is the same thing as incorporated into the various shops and residences surrounding the public square. Residences like homes, right? With that means like with uh, shops because like shops and rough uh, residences, like shops and homes, shops and residences. Residen residences is the same thing as homes. Uh, right. So, and one more thing, I'm actually doing this like at one go, right? <laughs> so I hope you don't mind uh, some hiccups while the video is on, yeah, because I don't want to ruin this because. What I see is that uh, most um, teachers, I mean, I don't want to overgeneralize or something, but what happens is that we cannot show our students how, uh, you know, difficult reading passages can be. And we may just, we just prepare beforehand and just show it uh, right, in, in, right in front of their eyes uh, how easy it is, but it's not actually, it should, it's not supposed to work like that, right? In an attempt to not, uh look vulnerable we kind of like run the risk of faking the whole thing which is not actually what what we want to do so yeah we're basically done with the summary now we can focus solely on other uh question types which is actually better because when you're when you're done with one thing like you know so much of a relief of a relief Figures demonstrating environmental benefits, I think we haven't talked about that yet. Examples of the wide range of facilities, no reference to the advantages of uh, stadium, stadiums built during a certain area, uh, era again. Keep, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot like numbering. Uh, that's not really necessary, but it's kind of important when you want to analyze your passage, right? It's important to like write down the number of question, uh, like, where the answer is found it's uh, a lot better so i guess we can do it right now like, like fortress where is it this is 18 19 and um uh, opera where is it um i guess it was somewhere right here right okay yeah 20 and 21 and 22 yeah all these answers are found from here now did we get to all right we haven't got to the d so i'm guessing everything will start right from here there are many similarities between modern stadiums and the ancient amphitheaters intended for games so you see we're talking about in, like the comparison but some of the flexibility was lost at the beginning of the 20th century as stadiums were were developed using new products such as steel and reinforced concrete. So 
this is one thing that's new, right? That's like modern. That's what modern stadiums have. They made use of bright lights for nighttime, nighttime matches, right? All right, so they're less imaginatively designed. They're less spacious. They're less con convenient locations. They're, they are less versatile. They're made uh, of less durable materials. Well, we haven't talked about that yet. Like, all right, so yeah, some of the flexibility was lost at the beginning of the 20th century, right? Uh, that means like, uh, they're less, they're like less versatile, right? Right. So less versatile is the same thing as, uh, is the same thing as the flexibility was lost, right? So that's the correct answer. I'm guessing, uh, like 20th century stadiums, uh, they're they're less versatile because their lights and, and steel reinforced concrete, right? Can't get the concrete out, right? Um, okay. Many such stadiums are situated in suburban areas designed for sporting use only and surrounded by parking lots. Uh, these factors mean that they may not be as accessible to the general public, require more, more energy to run and contribute to urban heat. Okay, so less convenient locations, right? Like they cannot be accessible to the general public means uh, they're in less convenient locations. They're not convenient to the public. So that's 23 uh, or 24. Like, yeah, this this part is also 23 or 24. The actually, you know, in either order, like, you can either say 23 is D, 24 is C, but uh, ideally, you might want to choose uh, C for 23 and 24. In your answer sheet, it doesn't really matter. These are the correct answer, I guess. Less spacious, imaginatively designed, they're not actually given, I guess. And okay, so we're done with uh, that. How about we go up there? Is there anything going on? No, I don't think so. Uh, examples of the right range of facilities available at some new stadiums. Um, I guess, yes, like they were given, right? Like uh, steel, reinforced concrete, right? Bright lines for using time. So these are like new products and these are facilities, right? Oh, we actually found one answer. Uh, this is. Well, like D, right? As you can see, it comes from the same place that uh, 23 or 24 were found. So this is 16. Okay, we keep going. And, uh, but many of today's innovative architects see scope for, this, uh, for the stadium to help improve the city, right? So stadium is actually seen as something to Improve the city. Among the current strategies, two seem to be having particular success. The stadium as an urban hub, as a power plant. So, yes, like, advantage of modern stadium design does the right image. Okay, so there's a growing trend for stadiums to be equipped with public spaces and services that, uh, public spaces and services that serve a, as a function beyond sports, such as hotels, retail outlets, conference centers, restaurants and bars, shows, playgrounds, and a green space. Creating mixed use developments such as these, this, 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 uh, reinforces compactness and multifunctionality, making more efficient use of land and helping to regenerate uh, regenerate urban spaces. So, uh, spaces, okay. So I guess like there's some positive things going on there. So, uh, off offering improved amenities for the in enjoyment of sport events, no, right? Bringing community life back into the city environment, uh, community life. Yes, yeah, like that That looks like it, like that's tempting. Public space and services that serve as a function beyond sports, such as hotels, right? These are like public spaces, right? Spaces, services, right? So these are more like community, right? Maybe that, that might be the answer. Facil facilitating research into solar and wind energy solutions, we haven't read about that yet, or maybe we will not even re read later on. Enabling local residents to, re to reduce this their consumption of electricity, no. Providing a suitable site for the installation of renewable power generators. So for now, I'm get, I'm going like I'm landing on B for now. Actually, it's actually uh, yeah, it's actually a better idea. Better, uh, it's better to like eliminate some options and then land on the final answer. But yeah, that's how we're going. Uh, sorry. 25 or 26. Uh, making more efficient use of land and helping uh, to regenerate urban spaces. 
And this opens the space up to families and wider cross-section of society instead of catering only to sports people and supporters. There have been many examples of this in the UK. Uh, the mixed use facilities, uh, mixed use facilities at Wembley and Old uh, Tra Trafford have become a blueprint for many of the stadiums in the world. Uh, so, like these are some examples. Mixed use of facilities that have been uh, become a blueprint for many other stadiums in the world. Right, let's see that 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 looks like your facilities built with some new stadiums. Well, actually, we may have been wrong here because these are these don't look like uh, facilities, right? Some of the flexibility was lost at the beginning. Stadiums were developed using new products. Well, yeah, these are actually products. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, that's totally wrong. So this is not the. I'm guessing maybe this is the part right. Mixed use of use facilities, right? Um. Yeah, basically, like everything is all about like facilities, right? Hotels, retail outlets. How 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 come? So yes, we we're gonna change that. This is not D. It's E. The phenomenon of stadiums was power station. How about some? All right. The enjoyment of sports events. Uh, to use their consumption facility. Okay. So there, you will actually be given like two similar options in multiple choice questions like this, like offering improved amenities for the enjoyment of sports uh, events. The same thing as bringing community life back into the the city environment facility research into solar wind solutions this is the same thing as uh the c is close to d right or e right so the first two look alike and the last three look alike right so they're here to kind of like uh mess with you so you can even use true false not given technique which we're not going to get down to but maybe later in the video in, in other videos we're gonna talk about that um technique the phenomenon of stadiums as power stations has arisen from the idea that energy problems can be. Oh, something happened. Okay, the phenomenon of stadiums as power stations has. Um, okay, so, yeah. All right, sorry. From the idea that the energy problems can be overcome by integrating interconnected buildings by means of a smart grid, which is, which is an electricity supply network that uses digital communications technology to detect and react to local changes in usage without significant energy losses. Stadiums are ideal for this purpose because uh, their canopies have a large surface area for fitting uh, photovoltaic panels and vice high enough to make use of micro wind turbines. Okay. Power plants, which also includes the Amsterdam. All right, so standing is not in use. It's proof that a standing can serve its city and have a uh, decidedly positive impact in terms of reduction of CO2 emissions. Okay. Uh, facilitating research into solar and wind energy solutions. No, like, is it like, it's not for research, I guess. Uh, it's not for research. Let's just see. Which is electricity supply network, digital communication technology to detect and react to local changes in use without significant energy losses. Deal for this purpose because their canopies have a large surface area. No, I guess. Not for research, right? Enabling local res res residents to re reduce their consumption of electricity. Um, that's also tempting. Providing suitable site for the installation of renewable power generators. Well, yeah, that sounds better because there they can, like, as you can see, this whole part is about the stadiums are ideal for this purpose because their canopies have a large surface area for fitting, right? Like That means, like, installing those new renewable power generators like wind turbines are re renewable power generators right um so for example here's an example i guess as power plants right uh the latter in a, in uh augurated all right so yeah i guess yeah that's that's it now uh we have like two more questions to go we need like um, figures demonstrating the environmental benefits of a certain stadium. Well, I guess like where are figures? Figures here, right? This whole thing like F is about figures, right? And you can see that like they're saying uh, we also need to like first 25 to 26. 
comes from here. Like as you can see, this whole thing, like tons and supplies of 80% of the surrounding area when the setting is not in use, right? This kind of like this is all these are figures that show the environmental benefits, like how that we can cut down on the carbon oh right, carbon uh dioxide emissions, uh CO2 emissions. That's what I was going to say. So yeah, this is 15, and this is F. Reference to the disadvantage of the stadium built during a certain era. And yes, it was actually, we were correct. Uh, because as we are going to the end, let's just see, sporting era, like, this whole thing is actually going to be about uh, positive things, right? But right here, there was a negative thing, right? Uh... 17 right like reference to the disadvantage of the stadiums built during a certain um, era so as you can see uh, here like there are some disadvantages unless like there, there's something else what's been central to the life and cultural cities in every area instead of acquired new values and uses from military fortress residential village, public space to theater, and most recently a field for, for experimentation, advanced engineering, field for experimentation, advanced engineering. The stadium of today now brings together multiple functions, then thus helping cities to create a sustainable future. Yeah, I guess, yeah, like disadvantages are only mentioned in paragraph A. So I hope, yeah, we're done. Let's check our answers. But don't judge me, I'm really sleepy. It's like, uh, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning. So I may have made a few blunders. But we're gonna fix those. Um, was in which was test test one, right? There's still a test one. So, oh yeah, I made a mistake. D, right? Uh, A, F, E. Okay, it was supposed to be D. Wait, we didn't really pay attention. Let's see. Fortress, bill fights, op opera, salt. I uh, hope 22 is shops. Shops. C, D, B, E. Yes. Uh, we, we need to, like, explain why we made that mistake. Let's go quickly back to the passage. And... Figure out why we made that mistake. D, D, let's see. Uh, Stadium built during a certain e e era. Many such stands are situated. Oh, yeah. Like, actually, we kind of overlooked, right? I mean, here, right, uh, some examples some disadvantages right these factors mean they may not be as acceptable uh, accessible to the general public right uh, like they may require more energy to run and contribute to urban uh, heat right like this is actually about modern ones right i hope you understand why it's d right? and let's like why not a well well because it's not a because this is not actually disadvantages these are some negative attitudes right this is actually, these are not disadvantages, actually. These are some, um, how to say, like some attitudes of people towards construction of, of actually, they're, like these are not even like, uh, stadiums, right? So, yeah, that was a blunder on my part. So, I hope, like, my reading score is 8.5, actually. So, that's why I may make some mistakes uh, during the um, process. I hope. Yeah, you got you guys got everything correct. And if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, just please leave them in, in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone for watching this video and bye.